I think the most interesting discussion from today at GUASCO on prostate cancer was new trials that were randomized looking at treatment of men with M0 disease. That's patients who on conventional imaging have no evidence of metastatic disease, but whose PSA is rising despite androgen deprivation therapy. So this group of M0 CRPC patients is a group we really haven't had any data to know what to do with. Two randomized trials investigated relatively similar drugs in this space, apalutamide and enzalutamide. Both showed a robust effect in terms of delay time to metast delay in time to metastases, um, but overall survival data has not yet shown a difference between treating early versus treating later. Now, apalutamide is not yet approved, enzalutamide is, but this antiandrogen modality of therapy is one that we certainly employ in men with metastatic prostate cancer. So the question I think that's been framed is, are we ultimately leading to long-term benefit treating with these agents earlier in the M0 space versus later at M1 when patients develop metastases on scans? So I think the things to think about are that this will probably be available and approved for use in this space. I think each physician will have to have a discussion with their patients uh, about the risks and benefits and potential side effects of treatment and the unknown as to whether delaying metastases ultimately will benefit them or not. Um, so it's fascinating, it's interesting, the results in terms of delaying metastases are robust and, and clearly pan out across these two trials, um, but whether it's a good long-term strategy for these men remains unclear.